Welcome back, guys, to Octopath Traveler 2. Our last episode, after completing Pearl Hunt, a united couple in future matrimony, and meeting a stage director that needs a trouncing later on, we left Tropo Hopu to deliver a recipe found there to Beasting Village, completing culinary cunning. After then grabbing a quill from Cape Cold, we delivered it to Winterbloom to finish a present for my son, and then headed over to the Inventor to make a critical scope before mugging a man in the abandoned village to obtain the Nick's family tree and deliver it to Clockbank to complete Descended from Royalty. We then finished up this side story sweep by buying a large fire soul stone to allow the repair of Flame Church Cathedral's stained glass window and earned a ridiculous staff as we now continue on. We need to level up everyone is basically the be-all and end-all of it. So let's take him to a dungeon because we haven't been to the abandoned waterway yet. Which is the fastest way there. Assuming from here. <laughs> Where's the darkness of night thing that happens? Oh, look, we're here. What do you sell, Black Market? Shady Great Bunch. Greatly resource HP to all allies but reduces physical defense for three turns. <laughs> This is different than we had before. That's what I thought. There's different people every night. Champion sword, sandstorm spear, guard's great axe, sailor's bow, flail, quartz dagger. I mean, not that we have money to buy stuff. Oh, this guy sells diffusing serum. Can I rob him? <laughs> This guy sells armor. I mean, I do need more of these. I'm going to buy four and nuke my cash again, but they're really good. I mean, I can mug this guy. I think I won't. Will this do? A man who evaluates potential purchases with a cold, suspicious eye. He sells the things he buys here to his fellow soldiers, turning a profit that far exceeds his army pay. Despite being reported to his superiors many times and even being threatened with a discharge, he has always managed to buy his way out of trouble. Interesting. I should add Partitio for the purchase, shouldn't I? Okay, let's go to the dungeon that we're supposed to be doing. Let the experiment begin. Now we do not have begins. anyone with special night stuff to attack these guys. To be perfectly honest with you. No quarter. Who's next? But this is a lower level area. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Was it up here? Oh no, it's down there. It was quite close to the black market, wasn't it? Thanks for we'll change the day because we got no night workers here. Alright, the abandoned waterway. Danger level 20. The lowest of our characters is level 20. Let's go explore it. Get a wriggling root. There's a chest all the way down there. The path up to the top right. Or not. Okay. Looked like there was a secret going around there. Oh my word. Okay, various lizard men Beautiful. who are weak to win. Not the element I was looking for. I'm gonna go with luminescence because it's something right, to the right of wind, so it's flesh. light or dark. Here I come. I will just uh, do warrior skill aggressive slash. My blade sinks. See if there it's were any sword now. weak people. There were not. I need to kind of make that AOE, don't I? Well, now. I'm guessing none of them are axes. Axe attack. <sighs> okay, stunning Takari for two turns. Time to shine. Yes. A bit worrying that you're just out for the count there. I'm going to summon the clock to initiate. I want to see what you can do. Sure. Not. What? <laughs> well, so I've just got a... Axe attack. It has to be done. 
Forgive me. Dark AoE attack. <laughs> Sitting in my back pocket over here. Where are we going? Another wriggling root. There's a lot of wriggling roots here. I don't know where to go. Oh, okay, I should have gone up first. Here have elixir. This is all apothecary stuff, really. Let the experiment begin. That guy's got a very spiky shield. Now it begins. Luckily, everyone here is weak to lightning, so we can definitely get some good hits there. We can always invent a skills. Uh, no quarter. With bows to get two hits at least. Right in the back is four Time shields. Forgive me. Here I go. Poison slash. Ah, there. Axes are a weakness. We need to play. Strike them down. You're finished. I kind of expect him to hit a little harder than that. It's my turn now. Almost disappointed. Yeah. Skillfully done, Akia. It's higher than yeah. axes. There's no need for flattery. But it's not swords. Sword. So spears. Oswald makes it to 22. Uh, I did get that chest, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Herb elixir, wasn't it? Well, there's a save point, which hints at there being a boss. Well, that's good. 8k in cash. Okay, this takes me over to the save point. I'll drop a save in here and then I'll continue to explore the waterways because it's definitely uh, another chest in here. What Prepare was that? Yourself. No quarter. It's so loud whenever we hit with that. But it's all good. Axe attack. Have to be done. I was going to say, two of our foes should be super weak by now. Work. This guy should not have much in him. Strike them down. Especially with also having just got the ridiculous staff of ridiculousness. Which means Temenos can inherit his old staff. Which definitely isn't bad. I was thinking about it now. I probably should have actually just done whatever's waiting for me. Because I have to come back out here anyway. But maybe the, this chest has something nice. Antidote stone. Suggestion is that whatever enemy is about to come is going to poison me. That's why I've bought diffusing serum, I guess. The sense of danger is overwhelming. I'll accept only victory. Ah! It's a big plan. <laughs> what? No, you abducted the guy that could have broke you really easily. What the hell are you doing? My place Now then. Where is he? Is he in there? My again. All right, well, buff it, Gary. Get him to do aggressive slash two. My turn. My blade sinks. Give me back Oswald. Oh, 
Here I go. Okay, uh, how do we want to go about doing stuff now? Because we've already got, like, the guy down once after the stealering that happened. Poison slash. I can always poison the thing. That's a little bit of extra added damage no matter what. Okay, so... We haven't really found much of a weakness to this guy. But we're supposed to do our big attacks on this turn when you think about it. Whatever I set my mind to. I'll just summon you. It's showtime. Okay. <laughs> Good choice has been made. Who be willing to bet that this is fire week? Fire. Burn. Didn't have my lane power. Don't really need it when we're hitting like that, though. These hands. Poison slash. Now it begins. It really does, doesn't it? The thing's not anywhere near dead, though. What the hell? I, what is this? Single high powered sword attack? Sure thing. It's to the weakness. Ten minutes up. Bit worried about this thing. It hasn't actually attacked us yet. Okay, it's. My turn. It's. doing bad stuff. The question is, how do I break it on this turn? Do I have leg hole trap? Oh, it's nearly dead. My blade sinks. Prepare yourself. My blade sinks. I need a plan. I think there's definitely stuff I can do. Oh, wait a second, maybe not. Elemental barrage might actually hit me well here. Oh, you actually have usual stuff. Indulge me for a moment. <laughs> Beautiful. Time to shine. Well, shine thou shall. Elemental barrage hit for everything I needed it to hit absolutely perfectly. I'm just gonna do a thunderbird now, see if it's weak to that too. Oh. No. I mean, it's, it's not his last legs, but... Fire. Burn. There we go. I've gained value. I should try insight. to capture it. Maybe. I don't know. Cast, you reaches level 29. Did we even get anything good from it? Got a revitalizing gem. I guess that's not bad. Didn't even see what it did as an attack. Got a frost axe though. It is 110 physical, 30 speed. It raises potency of ice based attacks. So it's obviously really meant. This is an apothecary dungeon. It gave us herbs, poison and a dope. Well, that's not really a thing here. But it gave us an axe that is literally for the apothecary's ice skill. Level 29, that makes sense. I did this 10. My main character is level 29. The rest of the characters are only one level ahead. Or two levels. I can't help my main character being leveled up so high. We're still doing it at level with everyone else. God. Okay, what are we doing next? Uh, do I put the frost axe on you or not? This is not like you have an axe, but it really mix match as well. It depends if we do the ice attack or not. I guess it's it, it's a tiny loss for probably what you consider to be a bigger gain, right? Like, pass down the stuff down the trail. 
But there we go. Dungeon done. Nice, fast, quick. It's, uh, you know, more than level is gear. We know that. And let's just face it. That's just immense. 214 elemental damage on a staff already for completing that quest. I wasn't expecting to get rewards that good yet. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Hello, there must be something else in my way. No! No! My turn. No! It's gonna happen! Your collapse is nigh. Burn you there. Okay, it didn't hurt that much. Now then. Thunderbird! This is my chance. Phew. My turn. Poison Slash. I have flashbacks of that elementals. It's got loads of HP though, blooming hell. Fire burn. Here Looking I at come. the order of people I have here, okay, that ice elemental's nearly dead. I might have warrior skill that did thingy, but I got so oh, yeah I did, I have ignition. How's this? What to do? What to do? What to do indeed, because I don't have anything that can hit into that that well. I can always make a... Okay, no, maybe not. I don't actually have fire or anything yet. So I have nothing to break you with. And I couldn't poison you either. Face both. Well, the insight works. No. Get them, Oswald. Clear them off the board. Fire. Burn. I've gained valuable insight. I got smashed by elementals one time. If I remember correctly as well in the, ele in the fight against them, there was like nothing I could do. I just walked in, the encounter started, and then I just got AoE'd like multiple times and then instantly died. Is that how that went down? Can anyone remember the Octopath one time? I was just there like, uh, <laughs> what was I supposed to do? <laughs> Not be there was probably the right quest, like the answer to that question. Okay, with that extra dungeon done and not really much experience got, we move on to our next chapter, which is actually a chapter 20, a level 24. So we're jumping up way above our character's level, not way above, but above our character's level at this point in time. You almost died, but did win in one? Oh, I, I did win? Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm totally I'm amazing. Um, yeah. So I guess we'll take Oswald out and put in Temenos because he's got a mission coming up soon. Uh, really, let's keep Akali in. Uh, really, I need to be leveling up our Shet as well, but we'll go with this team. Hikari, Agnea, Temenos as our scholar. Uh, we'll give him... Less power is how I'll look at it. He's got the mage one currently. He can go up to the oak staff, which is what we thought was really good until this psychic staff here came along. And kind of screwed our item scale, you could say, a little bit. Just a little. Just a little bit. And we'll go with this pie. So you think the battle hatchet is better, do you? I mean, I don't disagree. But... You know, this has elemental attack too, and you do do some elemental stuff. And it has a slim choice to poison target. So I feel like this better. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, time for me to hear a tale and start our next chapter. Let's let the scene be set, shall we?
We're back here in no time at all. Winterbloom Root. Following the clue she discovered in her treatment log, Cassidy arrives in the town of Winterbloom. When she arrives, she greeted like an old friend by the townsfolk. She okay, she's greeted like an old friend. So this is Winterbloom. According to my treatment log, I've been here before. I have no memory of that visit, of course, and yet, I am at ease here. Hmm? It can't be! Uh... Casty! Casty, is that you? What's all this ruckus? She's back! Miss Casty is back! Casty? No kidding? Welcome back, dear. We were all hoping to see your face around here again. Excuse me, but you recognize me? Huh? What are you saying? How could I forget you after all you did for us? Oh, forgive me, but I have lost my memories. I came here in hopes of finding something that would jog my memory. Well, we'd all be happy to talk your ear off if it helps. Okay, they're gonna give me the information, are they? Mama said you get really scared when you're mad, Miss Miss. You're really scary when you're mad, Miss Castor, yeah. My mother said you're a real good apothecary, Miss. I've already told our ruler you're back in town, Miss Casty. If you hadn't been there, Miss Casty, I don't know what would have happened. Our ruler is very sick, Miss Casty. Would you please check on her? Now that you've lost your memories, it's our turn to help you, Miss Casty. <laughs> Everyone in this town is indebted to heirs apothecaries. Well, this is a much better welcome. Right, a hunter who once led a minor injury fester for so long it left him bedridden. Casty narrowly saved him and made sure to give him a nice long le lecture on the perils of procrastination once he <laughs> recovered. Thank you. There are a lot of perils in procrastination, isn't there? <laughs> Tons of them. A woman utterly exhausted from taking care of her ailing mother. Casty's kind counsel helps her gather herself and see her mother off this mortal coil. Seems like a menacing sentence. She's been passing on Casty's advice to other caretakers ever since. Thank you. Cassie discovered this woman had a malignant tumor when visiting the village as part of Air's apothecaries. She fortunately found it early enough to treat her and avoid a major health incident. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Just say the word, Miss Casty. I'd be happy to chat for hours. Though, come to think of it, a Lady Rosa was the one closest to you. Rosa? She's ruler of these lands. You'll find her in her manor in the northwest of town. Thank you for all your help. I'll go see her at once. So the place where we've entered saw that there was someone in bed and nothing could be done with it. That's the one we're looking for. Everyone in this town is in debt. Oh, you're the same guy. <laughs> Already told her. Yeah, there's the same people everywhere. Seems to generally the ones at the front are the ones that uh, are the thingy. We got nothing to fear now that you're here, Miss Gasty. My boy's already left on this journey, but he sent me a letter saying he's studying hard. Apparently, that quill's the best he's ever used. It better be. Or oh, I went through to get it. My mother said you're a real good apothecary, miss. Mama said you'd get really sick. Oh, you're, you're, you're you again. If you hadn't been there, Miss Casty, I don't know what would have happened. What does the guard say about it? 
nothing about it. He gets frostbite, though. It's not so good. Now that you've lost your memories, it's our turn to help you. You're the one at the front. This person seems to recognize me as well. I apologize for the sudden intrusion, but I would like to request an audience with Lady Rosa. Word of your coming has already reached us. This way, please. Butler to the Glenville family is Lily, who oversee the town of Winterbloom. She was has followed Rosa like a shadow since her ladyship was young. Though a woman of few words, she has served Rosa extremely well over the years. That was very helpful. You'll find Lady Rosa's chambers on the far end of the second floor. We know it, to be honest. Didn't I come in here and take a chest? Yeah, I did. Good to see. <laughs> Please be at ease, Lady Rosa. Just Rosa will do. No need for formality between old friends. <sighs> so it's true. You really don't remember. There's time for that later. You need medicine. I'll... No need. I already have some. This is the medicine you prepared for me. It is? Dozens of apothecaries saw me before you came. They all declared me incurable. Lost cause. But you were different. I owe my life to your fortitude and skill. Oh, I'm glad to hear I was able to help you. Would you allow me to examine you? The medicine appears to be slowing the disease's progress. But your entire body is showing signs of mild paralysis. At this rate, you won't last another month. I'm aware. Only a few grains of sand remain in my hourglass. Yet, I wish to live just a little longer. Rosa... Mother, I've brought your medicine. Casty? It's me, Malia! It's been so long! I've gathered balm leaves from the herb garden every day, just like you told me. Garden? What garden? The one you planted for us, for Mother. A garden? With the right herbs, I may be able to craft a special elixir for Rosa. Would you show me to this garden of yours? It would be my pleasure. The garden is next to the house. I'll go ahead and unlock it. Rest easy, Rosa. I'll be back soon. Casti, how is Lady Rosa? I won't mince words. She doesn't have long. Nevertheless, she's fighting with all her strength to hold on. 
Lady Rosa suffers for the sake of her family and her legacy. Malia is still a mere child of eleven years. In the laws of our land, she cannot inherit her mother's estate until she is twelve. If the lady perishes before her daughter comes of age, her lands and her title will pass to her next nearest kin. So Rosa wants to pass on her estate to Malia. That's why she's so desperate. I'll do everything I can for her. I promise you. I'll see that Rosa's hopes do not crumble around her. Not Amelia this time. So, a question of succession. That seems to be a very early age, but of course in these kind of times, early age is a, a thing. 12 years though, versus 11. My goodness. How many months do we have to craft something that can keep her alive? That's the real question. Give us months. Tell me the total. These plants are well tended. I've taken care of them every day, Casty, just like you taught me. <laughs> You're such a good daughter, Malia. <laughs> Thanks. May I take some cuttings? I need them to mix an elixir for your mother. Help yourself. Rosa is growing weaker by the moment. Before long, she'll be completely paralyzed. But I know just the thing for her. Scale bark leaf, snow grass. Can't forget the bloodberry. You can never have enough bloodberries. I should ask Malia where they are. Are the bloodberries anywhere near a dungeon? I need to gather medicinal herbs for Rosa and quickly. Can I help? I need to keep moving or else I start getting all twisted up. Sure, thanks Agnia. Casty, what about this blue flower? We don't need that right now. Okay, so how about this red mushroom? Very poisonous unless boiled. I wash your hands extremely thoroughly. P poison What's a dangerous place like that doing in a mushroom like this? <laughs> huh? Why are you laughing? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I was just thinking that it's your tongue that ended up all twisted. <laughs> Indeed. More travel banter. This garden is magnificent. You seem quite excited about it. I am. My homeland is a desert, if you recall. Gardens are rare there, especially ones so fair and lush with flowers. This garden isn't just for show. Every single plant, flower, and vine here has a purpose. Each possesses a beneficial property that can be used to save lives. Pleasing to the eye they are and filled with sweet kindness too. One day I would love to plant a garden like this for my friends in Koo. <laughs> Your heart is as kind as any plant here. Managed to catch up even though I like caught my... Got caught in the throat a little bit. If you have any questions about the garden, just ask me. Just ask me indeed. Malia. Rose's daughter and heir to House Glenville the moment she turns 12 years of age. She strives to be like a mother in both public and private spheres, a feat that requires no small amount of effort. Information gleaned about medicinal herbs. Thank you. Okay, they're here. Not sending me out to a dungeon far away. Can never have too many bloodberries, as we've been told. A scale bark leaf. And snow grass. I've got all the ingredients I need now. All that's left is to concoct Rosa's medicine. There. That should do it. Thank you, Malia. Hey. Casty? Is mother... Is she gonna die? <sighs> I won't lie to you, Malia. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Thanks for being honest. I've been with her all this time and watched her getting weaker. I expected this. 
Even after she became bedridden, she still put our town above all else. I... I want to follow in her footsteps. I want her to know her spirit will live on in me. <laughs> Why do I have to wait until I'm twelve? Oh, rats. I shouldn't have wasted your time while Mother still needs you. It's all right, Malia. And I promise you, I'll do everything in my power to see your wish comes true. Come on. Your mother is waiting. Hmm. <laughs> She seems, just off a couple of sentences, way too grown up, but forced to be. 